Hello and welcome to another edition of Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we're going to take a look at a pencil that I got a while ago uh, from the uh, Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville, Tennessee. And I had ordered a number of different pencils from them and I have been enjoying their their instruments for a long time and they have a pencil called a Harvest uh, is the model number and it comes in a number one or a number two core and these are a dozen as you can see of the number one core pencil. So a number one would be a softer core, a softer graphite than say a standard number two pencil. And I have a lot of number two pencils, uh, but I don't have a lot of number one pencils. And I thought it would be fun to have some in the rotation and to try these. And so here's a dozen of them that I got. So we're gonna slide one out of its package here and let's take a closer look at, at it. So here we go. Musgrave Harvest Bonded Lead Musgrave USA 320, the uh, model number, number one. You know what? This to me is a very traditional, of course, with the color pencil. But boy, this ferrule here at the end of the pencil with its maroon band is handsome. I think. Uh, and then you have a uh, red, not pink, it's really more red colored eraser at the top. The, the light washes it out a little bit. It's, it looks a little lighter on the screen than it is, but it, it's more of a red, reddish color than a pinkish. And um, it is a hexagonal, I'm going to lose my focus here. There we go. Hexagonal barrel. And it is a really handsome pencil, I think. Uh, the uh, wood that Musgrave uses is very high quality, very good. Uh, I, I and I love buying pencils from an American company, uh, especially they have been in business for over a hundred years in Shelbyville, Tennessee, uh, producing pencils. And um, I really do do like these. Um, I have done um, reviews of, I believe, the uh, Harvest number two, but uh, this is the number one. So I think what we'll do first is let me get this sharpened and uh, we'll try some writing. So I've got my Musgrave Harvest number one sharpened, uh, sharpened to a very nice point in uh, my electric pencil sharpener. And the, like I said, the wood uh, is a good quality, sharpened very nicely and cleanly. So uh, let's, uh, let's put a little of this pencil down on the paper, shall we, and see just what we're working with here. Whoop. Musgrave. So I knew I was gonna break the point because it is a number one, so that means it is a bit of a softer core. And I am a real um, heavy handed user when it comes to my writing instruments. So um, I, did, I had a very sharp point and the very tip of it did break just then. Uh, Musgrave Harvest Pencil. 
number one Shelbyville Tennessee well it is a dark thick substantial line on that page uh, as you would expect from a number one pencil with a softer core. I will tell you that this is smooth as silk. It is a smooth writing pencil. Absolutely. And it we do our our lines here and yeah very nice now let's see how we're going to put some of this musgrave number one harvest graphite on the page now if you're thinking what i'm thinking we're going to probably have a fairly dark smudge line uh you know what not as dark as we might think. It holds to the paper fairly well. Now let's 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 talk about the erasability. So I always like to start with the eraser on the pencil itself and we'll try a little section of it here and see how it does. Well it does okay. A fair amount of crumbs and uh, oh, I would say that you've got at least a 10% a shadow there. So let's bring out the cavalcade of erasers here. Start with our pink pearl. Uh, yeah, that takes it out quite, quite much more. I would say probably 96% gone with the pink pearl. Uh, we'll try our synthetic rubber here. See how that does. Nice job there. Oh, let's see. One of these days we're just going to do erasers because I erasers are great. Too bad we don't have erasers for everything, right? Um, let's see. Here's my synthetic. Nice. Uh, what haven't I tried? How about our natural rubber eraser? Let's try that. I don't know what happened to my, I had a gum eraser, I can't find it, somewhere it is, somewhere around here. Okay, well, I would say almost any eraser is going to do a nice job for you here, uh, more so than the one that's actually on the pencil. So, I, I, I can't give, uh, I can't give five stars to the eraser, but I'll tell you this, love the pencil. Uh, it really has a nice writing feel to it. If you don't like a bolder, wider line, you probably won't like writing with a pencil like this, a number one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
So now that I've done a little bit of writing and managed to wear that point down, I'm going to try giving it a sharpen here with a, a manual sharpener and see how it does. Nice. Good. Uh, So, here we are, the Harvest Musgrave number one pencil. Really, if you're going to use a number one pencil, you need to commit yourself to sharpening it more often, uh, almost twice as often perhaps as you would a number two pencil, uh, particularly if you have a heavy hand like me. In exchange for the effort of sharpening, however, you're going to get a bolder, darker stroke on the page uh, as you make your letters. And in the case of this particular number one, uh, it's also a very, very smooth, smooth writing pencil with using the, the right eraser, good erasability, and I would say moderate, um, a moderate smudge factor. So uh, all in all, this will be a very nice addition to the pencil rotation. And I thank you for spending some time and experiencing this pencil with me today. We'll see you again real soon here on Always Analog.